Firstly, congratulations on the signing. How exciting is it? Oh, I'm actually so thrilled. I can't even wipe the smile off my face and I'm still actually gathering that I'm actually a part of the North Melbourne Football Club, so it's unreal. Can you tell us how the opportunity came about? I actually had no idea until Tuesday I had a phone call and um, they asked me to come in for a meeting and then all of a sudden with one click they um, offered me a contract so it flew by in the space of two days so I'm still a little bit numb and um, yeah just feeling unreal. Sounds like a bit of a whirlwind. You've obviously impressed in the VFLW. Were you hoping to get picked up by an AFLW club? Um, yeah, well, coming back from my ACL at the start of the year, I was absolutely thrilled just to play footy again. Um, and I didn't know that I was having a good VFL season, but obviously I've um, impressed some. And yeah, so just absolutely thrilled that I was able to um, impress them. So they, um, yeah, contacted me and it all just happened. So it was good. So you just mentioned you did your ACL, so coming back from that this year. Can you talk us through your football journey? When, when did you discover the love of the game? Um, so I've got three brothers and my pa played for Hawthorne, so I've always loved footy um, and playing with my brothers was just a natural thing. But I technically started in 2012 for the Devils and um, played a few years there and then but unfortunately did my ACL in 2016, uh, just before the first draft. So that was pretty heartbreaking, but it was able to concentrate on other things and then, um, yeah, it was able to come back to footy at the start of the year and have a pretty good season. So it's been really good, dream come true. Can you talk us through your rehab process? Was it mentally tough getting through knowing that all these AFLW signings were happening around you and the competition was growing so much? Did you ever lose a little bit of hope or direction in a sense? Yeah, absolutely. I saw all my mates achieve what we've all wanted to be AFL footballers. So that was a bit of kick in the guts. But um, last year, I think, was probably the worst moment in that second draft. Um, I think that's the moment I thought, oh, maybe it's just not my um, timing and it's never going to happen for me. So I'll just aim for VFL, which is another huge honour. Um, and I honestly put the draft behind me this year and just played footy. And getting that call on Tuesday was the biggest surprise. So, yeah, it was huge. And I did lose faith, but I'm just absolutely stoked. So, yeah, really happy. So you're named in Essendon's VFLW Leadership Group this year. Talk us through what that experience was like. It was an absolute honour for me. It was one of my goals at the start of the year to get into that leadership group. Um, I knew there was a lot of young players coming in, so I really wanted to put down my teaching experience and just be a positive role model. I've learnt heaps. I've learnt how to um, interact with my other players, but also what I need to do on the field to be a great role model. Um, but also off the field as well, and making sure that you're always putting in that effort and being that role model that they can look up to. So a huge, really positive experience. So other than some great leadership qualities, what kind of player can we expect you to be next year? Um, someone who never probably, I know it's cliche, but never gives up. I'm always putting effort in and my work rate is probably my biggest strength. Um, I'm always hard in it. A couple of few black eyes at times, but you know, doing it for the team. Um, but yeah, just my work rate, effort, and I guess my skills go all right as well. You probably would have seen some of the other stars we've signed to the club. How exciting is it to be playing alongside some of those names? I feel so happy because I used to play with a few of them back in academy and my devil days, but also the Vic team. So just to join them again and also be at the standard that they've been playing for a couple of years now. I'm excited to learn from them, but also just to have a bit of laugh and um, yeah, just being a team with them again is actually really exciting. So I'm um, yeah, really happy. Beautiful. Well, thanks, Jess. Welcome to North. It's exciting to have you here. Thank you so much, guys.